I'm going to become the best version of myself is what I texted myself exactly one year ago from today before I changed my life completely. I hope that this video is your text, the message you will look back to one year from now, reminding you of what you achieved. Even if there was only a 1% chance this video would change your life completely, are you willing to live knowing you might have missed that chance because you didn't want to listen for a few minutes? I made a list of every step I took to get where I am and each step will bring you 20% closer to transforming your life completely from where you are now. The first step you need to take is setting your environment. This includes cutting off bad habit friends. I tell you this first because you can finish this step today. Sometimes the friends you think are pushing you up are actually the ones holding you back. If you have friends whose entire relationship with you revolves around bad habits such as gaming or other unproductive activities, it's time to reconsider those connections. You might think cutting them off sounds harsh, but if they're not helping you become the best version of yourself, you're sacrificing your own dreams for that friendship. Surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you. You don't want to be the one aiming up button when your friends are aiming down. Instead, find friends from good habits like working out or through self-improvement. Imagine your friendship as a mirror reflecting back to the core of who you are. Are your friends reflecting the person you want to become or are they holding you back? And this also applies to your workspace. Clean and organize your living space. A clean environment makes a clear mind and boosts productivity and success. Get rid of garbage and create a space that motivates you. Your environment is what you are. So it should be a place that helps you focus on your goals. To become the best version of yourself, you also need to become physically fit. Exercise regularly, whether it's hitting the gym, running or doing sports. Find a routine that works for you and stay consistent. Working out not only improves your physical health, but also boosts your mood and energy levels, making it easier to overcome other challenges in your life. Your body is your most valuable asset, so treat it like a masterpiece. Regular exercise also releases endorphins, which make you feel happier and more relaxed. It also helps reduce stress, anxiety, and depression, giving you a stronger mental state. There's still three more steps left, so you're already 50% of the way there. The next step will either be the easiest or the hardest one in the entire video and I'm talking about creating a good mindset just as physical exercise strengthens your body mental exercises strengthen your mind practice meditation or any activity that helps you relax and refocus this includes taking time for hobbies that you enjoy spending time in nature or simply taking a few moments each day to clear your mind. Create a positive mindset by focusing on the positive aspects of your life. At the end of each day, ask yourself, have I become better today? It can be anything from getting stronger and earning money to even learning something new, maybe or helping someone out. This simple act increases your motivation and shifts your focus from what's wrong in your life to what's right, helping you maintain a positive mindset even in hard times. Surround yourself with positive influences and focus on things that give you motivation and inspiration inspire you. And the fourth factor in being the best version of yourself is becoming smart. Your parents probably told you that you become smart by going to school for 12 years and then going to college for at least four more years and in truth this just makes you broke. People seem to think that becoming smart is this on or off switch that you either have or you don't but if you actually want to become intelligent or smart there are two steps to it and I found some shortcuts for every single one of them. Step one of this process is consuming the right books and there's a reason why I say consuming instead of reading and I'll get to that soon. At the very least you should consume one book on how money works, one book on the history of the world and one book on the history of the country that you live in. Then you can just start looking for books on topics you find interesting. If you like business then find business books. If you want to become an author then find books about storytelling and if you're interested in philosophy find books from important philosophers. Now that you've found the books you want to read, don't read them. Instead you're going to find a 10 to 30 minute summary of the book on YouTube by watching this and taking notes you'll receive at least 80% of the knowledge in the book putting in less than 5% of the effort that you would normally need to buy and read the book I still recommend reading the books that you found the most valuable though because there's still that 20% of details that you're missing out on also keep in mind that nobody becomes a successful entrepreneur by reading a book on business you only become that when you actually start the business stuff. The second step you need to take is to improve your problem solving skills. This can be acquired through playing challenging strategy games like puzzles and engaging in activities that require you to think and solve problems. I play chess which is scientifically proven to improve your memory, planning and problem solving skills. This brings me to step number five. Stop living like an animal. 
if you're treating yourself like an animal, nobody's going to look at you like you're an actual person, not even yourself. This step is very practical and only you can do it. Shower every morning, brush your teeth twice a day, wear clean clothes and clean your bed sheets regularly. Make sure your body and breath smell good. Hygiene also includes your environment. Clean your room and make your bed. Open your window for some fresh air sometimes. And don't forget to eat nutritious foods and not junk food that is half made of plastic. Now we've come to the last and final step of the video and that is having a routine. You will never change your life until you change what you do daily. And I'm not talking about the crazy routines from gurus that have you wake up at 4 a.m. and work 14 hours every single day. We both know you're only going to be able to do that routine one day before you abandon it. If you actually want to build a bulletproof routine that you will follow, watch this video. And always remember that the deeper you are in life, the greater your comeback will be.